Hey guys, so I know that this is the most demanded video of all time. You guys keep asking me, please share the GRE waiver list for fall 2024. So finally, here it is, okay? The reason it got delayed uh, so much is because uh, some universities do not announce their policy until very close to the applications timeline. So now we have enough universities who have declared their stance on GRE for fall 2024. So I'm going to share that list in this video. But there may be more universities who will declare their policies in the coming few months. And for that, you can follow us on our Instagram handle where we will keep posting more updates about GRE waiver. So follow us on um, Scholar Strategy on Instagram for more real time updates. Let's get started on this one. All right, so we covered the GRE waiver list last time also, but you cannot go by what we had posted last time because some schools have changed their stance. For example, Pardu was GRE optional last year, but this year they are requiring GRE for students outside US. Similarly, University of Minnesota Twin Cities uh, were giving a GRE waiver last year, but they have not yet announced their policy for fall 2024. So, when it comes to GRE, we see universities taking one of the three stances. First stance is GRE is mandatory, like it used to be a long time, uh, uh, a few years ago before COVID. So Georgia Tech, UC Irvine, Stony Brook still require GRE. Okay, so if you have not written GRE, you cannot apply to these schools. Then the second category that we see is GRE will not be considered. These are the schools which are saying that we don't care whether you have written GRE or not. We don't even want to look at it. So even if you submit it, we are not going to look at it. And here we have famous school like MIT that takes the stance. MIT does not look at your GRE and does not want you to mention anywhere in your application. Now, Harvard has a mixed stance like Harvard says that GRE will not be considered for most courses, including all the engineering courses. But I saw that like, you know, they do need GRE or GMAT for the Master of Design Engineering program or the MS MBA in Engineering Sciences programs. So apart from those exceptions, Harvard is also taking a stance that they will not look at GRE scores. And the third category is the universities which are saying GRE is optional. If you want to submit, you can submit, but otherwise we don't need it. And here uh, we have a lot of schools. This is the list which is of most interest to us. Now, before I share this GRE optional or GRE waived uh, university list, uh, in the end, I'm also going to show you an email template which shows you how you can request a GRE waiver because some schools, some universities are like, we do need GRE, but under exceptional circumstances, we are okay to waive it. In that case, you have to submit a waiver request. So how to write that email is what I'm going to share at the end of this video. So keep watching till the end if you want to look at that. So now let's come to the main topic, which is which are the universities offering GRE waiver or keeping it GRE optional for fall 2024? And here's my list. So CMU is saying GRE is not required for ECE courses, but they are required for AI related courses like MS in AI. So here you have to check based on the program that you're applying to. UC San Diego is GRE optional for PhD, but it requires GRE for MS in electrical engineering but they have waived GRE for both MS and PhD in computer science. So again, uh, look at the department you're applying to and then look at their policy. Other than that, some solid schools like UIUC, UT Austin, University of Michigan are GRE optional for most of the courses. And this includes computer science and ECE courses. Now, I could not look at all the courses. You will have to check for your particular course. In this list, I'm going to focus more on computer science and electrical engineering course to just give you an idea. Then we have UC Berkeley, which is keeping it GRE optional for most courses. For example, they are not looking at GRE scores for EECS department. UCLA is again GRE optional for some courses, but this includes MS in computer science and ECE courses. By the way, not all UCs are keeping it GRE optional. As we discussed, UC Irvine requires GRE. But UC Santa Barbara is again GRE optional for some courses, including computer science. Um, then we have USC, a very popular choice, which is also GRE optional for courses, including computer science. TAMU is GRE optional for all engineering courses. 
CU Boulder is GRE optional for some courses, including computer science. University of North Carolina at Charlotte is GRE optional for some courses. NYU Tandon, GRE optional for some courses, including computer science and also MSIS. So a very good option. And then UNC Chapel Hill. So North Carolina Chapel Hill, another very solid university is keeping it GRE optional for computer science. Now UT Dallas has an interesting take. They are giving GRE waiver upon request in some departments. So if you look at like, you know, the snippet from their website, they're basically saying that like, you know, we want GMAT or GRE scores, but under some conditions, we will be happy to give you a waiver. Uh, such as for high achieving candidates and this is the example I will share in the end how to how to write this email for requesting the GRE waiver. Lastly, Washington University at St. Louis is also keeping it GRE optional for all masters and PhD programs, but but they require it for computer science. Okay, so again, very, very weird. So it's it's random across the universities. So do check for the particular program that you're applying to in this university to understand whether GRE will be required or not. I understand it's a pain, especially if you have not written GRE or if you're not happy with your scores, then like, you know, you have to watch it very diligently because it can totally affect the schools that you can apply to. Okay, so coming to the second part of this video, which is how to request GRE waiver, uh, such as at UT Dallas. So here, like, you know, I will be sharing a structure for the sample GRE waiver request email. And I suggest that first para is all about like, you know, greetings and formally requesting the waiver. And then second and third para is where you should mention concrete reason or a justification for why the waiver should be granted for you. You have to give specific reasons. You can't just appeal to their merciful side and just hope for the best. You have to give reasons as to why you deserve this waiver. And fourth para, let's just conclude and thank them for the consideration. So let's look at a full example here that uh, this is the template you can use. So dear ADCOM member, I'm writing this letter to formally request a GRE waiver on my application. I understand the GRE score is mandatory requirement and helps assess a candidate's academic preparation and ability to handle the coursework. So the basis of my request is twofold. Number one, my academic grades, including the ones in quant courses in English, reflect my proficiency in basic arithmetic, algebra, geometry, and data analysis as well as college level vocab. So what we are doing here is we are showing that whatever GRE is testing for, I do already have good grades in that. So that sort of covers one of the things that GRE provides to you. Second reason I'm giving is I've been working as a data analyst for last three years where I use problem solving and mathematical concepts on a regular basis. So my career progression and quick promotion shows that I'm adept at these skills. So again, reinforcing the fact that like all those skills that GRE is supposed to test, I have some other kind of proof that I'm already good at those things. And then just close it on a formal note. That is, I believe these credentials prove my preparation and readiness. So like, you know, so please uh, like, you know, waive the GRE requirement for me. So it's a simple email like this, but the reasons have to be concrete. And in some cases we have seen that GRE waiver is given once you submit such an email. So like, you know, this was a detailed list for our end. As again, there would be more schools who will be announcing their stands in coming few months. We will try to post them on our Instagram account. So follow us there if you want to know those things. Now, uh, one of the bigger question once you have done all this is if GRE is optional, should you submit your scores in, or not? We have already done a very comprehensive but short video on that, which gives my two minute tip a thumb rule that you can simply follow to decide whether you should submit your GRE scores or not. I'm linking it in the description box below. Check it out if you are trying to make this decision. So hope this was helpful. Tell us in the comments below how you liked it and uh, wish you a very, very fruitful fall 2024 application season. And I will see you next time with a new video. Bye-bye.